Odyssey, the much anticipated Space Legs expansion to Frontiers flagship spaceship simulator launches on the PC at least on Wednesday the 19th of May. As well as the long requested respite from sitting in a chair the expansion brings with it a whole new terrain rendering system and access to worlds with tenuous atmospheres and the possible chance of one or two surprises. In this video we're going to highlight a few suggestions for places you may want to visit as soon as the expansion arrives. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe, click the little bell icon and remember to select all notifications and to further help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. It's a big galaxy, 400 billion or so stars actually to be about as close as to precise as it's possible to get and there's obviously a huge selection of possible places to check out when Odyssey drops but definitely high on the list are the many existing Guardian sites. Reason 1 for visiting a Guardian site as well as a lot of the places we're going to highlight is just the spectacle of the place but from a different perspective but also there is the chance that something may have changed or there may be some features that are newly accessible on foot. Even if there isn't anything new to see or discover just the spooky ambience and the view from these places makes them worthy of a visit on foot. While we're talking about aliens it would be remiss of us not to mention the perhaps more obvious must visit in the alien category ...a Thargoid surface site. These places are creepy enough on the outside but they also contain a suitably creepy and goop filled interior space. The pervasive feeling of unease was bad enough at these sites when there was an SRV canopy between you and the corrosive dripping goo and chattering alien flying drone machine prawn things but now you'll presumably be able to enter the horrifying interior space in nothing but a lightly armoured spacesuit and risk the chance of actually seeing a Thargoid in first person. If you've seen movies like Aliens or Starship Troopers then you'll doubtless be reassured to know that these encounters only ever go extremely well and end with everyone being friends and getting along swimmingly. Next Filed under the category probably nothing new to see but worth checking out just in case I'd like to offer up the moon of Meterand Hollow orbiting New Africa in the Epsilon Indy system. We've no reason to believe that the whizzy maniacal orbit of the planet's little moon has been fixed but just in case it's got to be worth a look and then just to see that kind of madness from the on foot perspective and try not to vomit as you imagine what high tide and low tide must look like on the world you're rocketing around and around. If by some chance it's your first visit then remember you don't land on meter and hollow it lands on you. Next up the places to visit cuz new terrain engine the Pomesh system and specifically Planet 2C. For the longest time Pomesh 2C has been a magnet for canyon runners, hooners and SRV extremists because of its bizarre system of planet wide valleys and precipitous winding gorges. What awaits us at Planet 2C now that the terrain has been completely regenerated we have no idea but whatever is there it'll be a solid indicator of what to expect from the rest of the galaxy as we move into the Odyssey era. Next the Nervi system Planet 3A formerly the site of Mount Neverest. What was, pre Odyssey at least, one of the highest if not the highest mountains in known space. It's been fixed before, it used to be so high that it extended into supercruise range. Now it sits just below it. If the Stellar Forge turned out a huge mountain here before then there's always a chance it could do so again and you could be one of the first to see it and then jump off of it. Here at the pit the next planet is definitely high on our personal list of rush to and see what's happened to it planets. The moon of Kume that orbits Apasam in the Chai Hercules system. This is far and away at the time of recording at least one of the most beautiful planets in the galaxy and is easily one of our favourite places in the entire game. 
Whilst we're certain that the view from the surface will always be spectacular ...after all the moon orbits its earth like parent planet very very closely ...it's what the previously brightly lit canyons and wide valleys have become since the rebuild that we're most curious and concerned about. It's a go to favourite filming spot for both of us whether it will be after the Odyssey rebuild we don't know but there is not long to wait now. And finally the number one must visit as soon as Odyssey drops place on the list has to be whatever system is your home system. The place you are most familiar with. For us the system of Tawanta is our home in the game. There are numerous airless worlds there and we think a fair few of the thinly atmosphered worlds will be likely landable once Odyssey arrives but either way it'll be fun finding out and I can't wait to see the places and starports I'm used to seeing from my newly acquired space legs. Did we mention your top places to visit or do you have somewhere else in mind that we didn't include in our list? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.